Hello there everyone and welcome back to Kaiser Rock. I'm your host, Mr. Uh, Empire of Japan Lover. And right now, Hawaii resists our demands in subjugation. Hawaii is resisting our demands without any interest from the American mainland in defending them. We should make them pay for this blood in blood. Now, they are allied with the Entente. So I don't know as if we go to war with them, we'll go to war with the Entente. But if we take out Hawaii and maybe Australasia, do we get them? Can we peace out with the Entente? That's a good question. I don't know. We're going to try this anyways. Um, hopefully we can do this. You know, Guatemala's doing the liberal pact, so be it whatever. Um, and Portugal's been called in. So now we're immediately at war with these guys. Now nah, we're good. Um, hopefully we can do this. If not, then that would really suck. But we need many of our ships here. Many, 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 many of our ships. Because we need to invade this, these people very quickly. Conscription crisis, crisis, crisis in Quebec, and we need fuel, so we're gonna go down here as fast as we can, and hopefully invade. Hello, what is this? Oh, that is not ideal. Um, you guys can help us out there too. And we're gonna start importing more fuel. Hopefully, from people that are relatively close by, we're gonna stop importing from Venezuela, and. Fine, that's much closer than anything else. Ah. Fuel processing. Was this a good idea to go to war with these guys now? I don't know, we'll see. We will definitely see. I hope we can piece them out. Ah, so we're no longer fighting in Spain, which is fine. Probably we can naively invade. And you're gonna have to force the attack no matter what. So, because we've landed, which is fantastic. And we're gonna help beat the crap out of these guys here. Because my goal is to beat the Australasian as fast as possible. That's really the goal. Independence and self-sufficiency. Uh, well, Japan's economy is thriving. The country sadly lacks much in the way of natural resources, leaving us forced to buy them from foreign powers. Now, not only is the Japanese economy unfairly strained by those imports, if Japan ever finds itself cut off from the Western markets, it could jeopardize a war effort. As we can only rely on ourselves, we will pursue further resource extraction programs and impose tariffs on Japanese resources with the eventual goal of complete autarky, which would be good. Um, what do we have here? Oh, not good. We should big businesses. Production efficiency retention. Factory output. Refinery construction, we need that immediately, so reaching out to big business. The populist rhetoric of many of our coalition, calling for the curbing of the influence of businessmen and landlords and the wholesale nationalization of industries, has alienated some of the most powerful and brightest men in our country. We must make it clear that their help is needed still in our efforts to rebuild New Japan. Oh god, what happened up here? Oh, we lost seven convoys, that's actually really bad. Mm, we're gonna need to make more convoys anyway, so. Oh, look at these guys. Improve carrier hulls, I'm assuming that's better anyways. Improve. I mean, we're going to need these things anyways, but whatever. <sighs> How are they sinking us? What are they sending over here? Subs? Not ideal. So instead of doing this for now, we'll get to Hawaii eventually. Let's take out these guys in the south. I think that's probably the most important thing we could do right now. Possible. And we got it. Beat the crap out of them, that's what they deserve. Yeah, die. Scums. So we definitely need you guys down here. You guys will be sent down uh, from here to. Come on. Hello? Now they lost that, which is good. Losing stuff, good, good, good. Ah, uh, producing some outdated ships. Yeah, I know. It is what it is. We'll get there eventually. We need way more trucks. We need a lot more resources than everything. But these guys refuse to give us up our territory that we so rightfully deserve. So, what are you doing? Get in and get ready to go. What the heck? We need to go as fast as we possibly can. Good, sinking stuff here and there. Good, good, good. That being said, these guys should be a, a sea wolf of some sort, a lancer, silent drill, and just chucking torpedoes left and right. You know what? Screw th these ones up here for now. This is more important. Convoys, convoys, convoys. Ooh, another carrier, nice. 
Let's get some radar going up here too. It's not much. It'll benefit us a little bit. Where are our ships? Where where are the ships? As they should be over here helping us out instead of getting all of our convoys sunk. That literally makes no sense. Where are my ships? What are you doing? Just allowing the convoys to get sunk? Hello? Are you doing your jobs? Obviously not. No, oh, we got quite a few days until then. But still. Hello? Come on. What's going on right now? Honduras. No fuel, unfortunately. We checked a big business, which is nice. Refiners would be nice. War stability. Penalty modifier. Uh, the nation was always constrained by plotting bureaucrats and squabbling politicians who, were claimed, who claimed to work in the Emperor's name, yet they can only sock greed and strengthen their own power to the detriment of her maj his majesty. Now that your patriots are in charge, it's time to restore power to those who deserve it. Show up, my god, where are these ships? Well, that's why I gotta take these guys out. Columbia Joint Third International, Trickster, Guerrilla Fighter, it is what it is. Oh my god. Crow up. You guys can't do this apparently, huh? You, you're, you're trying to find convoys down here. That literally makes no sense. Get up here. And defend defend us. Like, who are you? Come on, make it, make it, make it, make it, make it. Okay, put a port here. If we don't do well here, we'll need to put a port up here. Wins, and we'll do that too. But yeah, it's all because we wanted Hawaii. And unfortunately, now we're all all out of coffee. Frugality, it's not bad. Spend tons of mines of Korea, which we read last time as well. War economy, yeah. We'll have to go to that one next. Even though I do want to get stuff here too. Air safety jeans would be nice. Five and let's go. Well, I wanted to go to war with Hawaii because I saw these guys had like no manpower and they have only 5,000 left. They have a few divisions, not many. And we're in. Fantastic. The army, entire army's here and we're going to move in and take them out. Oh my god. Where the hell are you? Like, you're just letting our combos get destroyed completely. Like, hello? Man, we gotta do better. Fear Imperial Power. A new way. What are the effects of getting who's who of Japan's business world in the same room is eventually they realize it's more efficient to work together than to compete. Collective petitions get rid of this or that regulation. They get so and so many more workers in the factories or are much more effective than the under the table bribery than they used to. They used to be. Or used to. Or, or are. Are. Oh my god. Oh my freaking god. Get your butts over there. Why are you letting them just destroy everything? You shouldn't need to go on convoy escort to do this. That makes no sense why you, you would need to. Uh, let me see over here too. It's fine. Kill everything they got. Over here, we're going to definitely need more uh, ports and whatnot. Which is fine. I understand why supply's so bad, though. Because that port's really bad, though, I guess. Joe Gray wins the World Cup. That's nice. Come on. They're literally not that strong.
God dang, this annoying. Uh, favor, uh, favor between friends. Political power and end to excess. Oh, we're gonna get this one next. Backbone of the army. Yep, I read that one last time, so there you go. I'll these two in the pact. Good, sink everything they've got. So we've lost how much? 38,000, which is not great. But we've sunk. No, we've not done that much. Okay. Uh, 38,000. Good. Come on. Come on. Build it faster. Good. Fuel refining. We're going to get even more fuel refining because obviously we need as much as possible. Very nice. Very nice. Go right here. Good. Kill them all. Kill every single last one of them. You know. All good stuff. The brew machine tools, the 38. Over here. Yes, please. Ambassador crisis, huh? Sucks. Good. No, oh, you're almost done with that one. Why not? Back by the army, reliability of mobility, which we'll do later. Uh, military factories, military factories, political power, mobilize a nation. The recent decades, thanks to parliamentarian bickering and allowing radical ideas to spread, have led Japanese society to state a divide. Aimed at promoting kinship through patriotic associations, education nationalizing the media to foster a love for the nation and state a divide, which make great efforts in restructuring society to strengthen the innate bond of our people, helping them remember what they are fighting for and working hard for. Absolutely. Machines good. More radar. Would be ideal. Okay. Well, Santiago, go organization's fine too. this point. I need to make more subs, but completely blockade the entire thing here. Follow Barcelona. Uh, what do we want? Colonial industry. That wouldn't be bad to do either. Um, this red generative individualism. Target East Asia. Mm, yeah, we read this one last time too. Let's do uh, logistics core. A branch of the army is designated uh, on logistical matters, ensuring we have the necessary supplies, maintenance, and information, and more. Will help us overcome difficult conditions, especially for some of the more unfavorable terrain across Asia, which we are out of supplies and whatnot. And my God, do we need more guns? But still. Got plenty of political power though. Solidify control. More national populism would be pretty nice. Or worse, it would be nice, but we're gonna work on the next two. That'd be nice. And then we're gonna jump to alright. Convoy rating is okay, it's not great. Capital ship attack and defense. Uh we can take you. Because we have to have got to take the this. Ling Guang clique seeks protection. Xin Yang Bo, the governor of Guangdong and Guangxi provinces, is a rich and powerful politician in southern China. Seeing the Kuomintang and other warlord states as a threat to China's stability and economic development, he has highly been highly receptive of the Pan-Asian idea and seeks protection. Of course, we must remember that China's ties with the wealthy merchants of China. I certainly will expect some concessions for his loyalty, but spark could be a significant boon to our relations with China's economic elite. I just want to dominate the whole of it. 
It would give us an easy way into here, too. You know what? We're going to go fully independent. Screw it. There's the Ottoman Convention. Huh. Oh. And there it goes. Russian Bades are expect. Well, now they're not on time. Well, very quickly soon, not have enough resources. They're trying to beat us up. Should be great. Um, there you go, I guess. Marines, I mean, they're nice. We need naval doctrine here. So. My god, fighting here sucks. Oh, there's a sub here, huh? Interesting. So that's not good. Uh, seems like they've stopped doing a lot of things up here, so now we're going to come up here too. Spread a guy a lot more. Vilnius Uprising, not bad. Uh, it's a little bit of two out of time for me to really want to do that. We're going to do this here, do that there. That'll be nice. It's just supplies are so bad here. Got one guy there. Except we're going over here. Oh, Mount. Because we've lost 46 versus their 69. Nice. Been quite a bit of organization. Haiti's been called in. Watch out. It's the Haitians. Are we gonna make this spot here or not? Like, come on. Just six core envelopment. Mm. Five races under the sun support warlord allies. War games, naval stuff. Yeah, uh, re-examine naval doctrine. Seemingly already two decades ago, it's foolish to think that the next world will be won by a decisive of battle. Rather, the next world won't be your resources, industry, and nutrition. We must change our thinking or it'll kill us. Pretty much. Quality shipbuilding. Production cost goes up for everything versus experimental division. Ooh, daily XP gain. Refill ships. That's pretty good. Improve long lance. It's nice. Expand ship building capacity. Start at the fourth circle plan. It's not bad. Repair speed goes up too. They're completely finished. If we can build all that stuff up. It's bad professional reserves. That's not bad too. That's actually very good. I might maintain Kantai Kessen though. Our dockyards and industry have limited capacity compared to our rivals in Europe and North America, but our designers and engineers are superior in every way to them. One of our ships will be worth a dozen of theirs. Experimental division. Though the Japanese fleet is mighty, it may not be the up to par against American and German fleet in terms. And should we help to gain the upper hand in the Pacific? We have to continue investing in research and development, for its, in its ingenuity and outside thinking in the box when a stable battle is not sheer firepower. We're planning... Hmm, spiritual mobilization. Expand the standing army. Size and everything, but numerical superiority inherently has multiple advantages. We can count on less catastrophic losses, maintain a broad range of specialized units, and deploy troops far and wide across Asia. Enact economic controls. While industry has undeniably helped Japan become powerful, the domination of the private sector over economies has had hor horrific side effects. The growth of an overnight elite, full of corrupt, American-inspired ideas aiming at curtailing the government's power, but are jeopardized the future of Japan as a leading nation in the world. The Kozoha pushes for curtailing capitalism's successes, and instead focuses our economy towards war efforts. Hmm... It's not bad. 
Then you should serve as draft ordinance. We can see the ease of burden on our production lines by assigning workers directly to industrial projects that are in need of additional firepower. And then colonial industry. Our overlord, overlord, overseas holdings provide a good testing ground for large-scale long-term industrialization projects. What works for Chosen and Manchuria today will work for to to Tohoku and to Hokkaido tomorrow. It's also quite convenient that the key Koho Dao personnel are already in charge of overseeing the areas in which these industrialization projects have been assigned and coordinate intelligence services. Our intelligence services are currently too much too disorganized, not only divided between civilian army and navy agencies, but often too ignored by operational command. We must strengthen the inner service cooperation so that the valuable work of our intelligence operatives can make a difference on the field of battle. So here we're at. We actually had to use Khan's commands to annex Australasia because even though we were down here, close to Sydney, Melbourne, Canberra, they their government flipped factions or flipped their ideology and decided to peace out with me without my consent, so Basically, I just I just straight up annex them. Like, if you're not you're not going to be able to flip your government ideology and peace out of the war if we're literally balls deep in you. So, um, but in the meantime, we're invading Ho the Hawaiian Islands. We've actually successfully invaded over here, which is fantastic. Uh, we've invaded over here, which is also fantastic. And we've got a couple other things we're trying to achieve here and there. So, uh, yeah, we're getting there. Um, you have nothing going on, which is good because you just landed. So it's time for you to leave now and get over there. And you have nothing going on here, too. Ooh, look at that. There's two of them with nothing going on. We're captured midway, but now we need Honolulu as well. So we'll see about that. We'll invade when we can. These guys actually did very well overall for what they've done. And, uh, yeah. Oh, the Paul, Paul Riga, yeah. Smash the uh, Entente as much as possible. I did justify on uh, the Pacific States just because they're doing very well, and I'd rather be able to get to America quickly. Because the CSA is doing too well right now. Uh, breakthrough. Let's go with that one next. Come on, get rid of that. 1939, working on guns, we're just getting better artillery, working on all the stuff here, which we definitely need to do, but no, um, yeah, it was a pain in the butt, not fighting the Pacific here sometimes, it just really is, it really sucks sometimes. What do we got going on here? Total in industry is good, and end excess. Oh, that's not bad too. Unbroken Zaibatsu ties, well... Uh, cabinet Information Committee. By taking direct control of the media, we can ensure the public is well informed on board of the government's plans. I like that one. What's going on here? Ooh, we haven't invaded yet here or here, which is kind of surprising, actually. Can you, like, do more? Can you do better, maybe? There you go. And we're invading down here. Let's see if they have anyone down here. They do. Oh, God, no. Well, that's not ideal. We're doing all right here. Force it. Because we know we can use it down here too. So now we're winning down here. Embargo by the US of A, but that's okay because we're probably going to die anyways. And what do we got here? There we go. There we go. 77, 78. Yes. Capitulate them so we can get all these islands. And we have until when? Is it June 5th? Which is not good. Yemen. Yeah, and we are in Honolulu, and they should capitulate. There you go. And combined by the... Oh, oh they don't have very much. That's nice. They've been eliminated by the CSA. Very good. Awesome. You guys do that. From here. They're going to need some extra support there. Uh, Line Islands. Very good. Invade there. And then invade there. I'll do that. I need to help Garrison out a little bit too. And a lot of the islands around here, and I don't want to lose any part of Australia. Or Australasia. That's fine. I got them too. So. So go and reformulate everything we've got here. We can improve the Marines, but eh. We can do this too, but we're not going to. I definitely want this guy here next. So we're going to have to just file the Great Drought of 1939. That's not good. And the, colony, the country is in the middle of the worst drought has seen in the century. Water supplies are critically low and crops are dying of thirst. In some regions, local officials are organizing rain-making rituals in a desperate attempt to evoke storms and calm people, but to no avail. Fortunately, the drought is mostly affecting southern Korea. Western Honshu and the southern islands, and although rice forests, harvests have dropped significantly, no seed of famine has developed, however, the disruption of food. Production from the drought is severe enough for us to force us to close down several rice exchanges, including the famous Dojima Rice Exchange, and control the rice supply directly, at least for the time being. At least no one's starving yet. No, God. Dang it, that sucks.
If we can land in Alaska and start pushing through here and then invade the coast, that would be ideal. Three combos are gone. All right, one more day left, that's fine. East Polynesia. Curtailing the Zaibatsus. Increase our construction speed and designer costs or simply gain factories. Market liberalism. Favor between friends. Mm. Or an end to excesses. Well, it's probably an end to excesses. Zaibatsu embody the worst aspects of Japanese society. Corruption, nepotism, and their ties to democratic parties make it clear that we should cease all cooperation with them and work towards curtailing their influence. And we don't take take time. We'll start by a, a program of nationalization of the largest conglomerates and start cracking down on known collaborators within our government. Yeah, why not? So these guys are doing. Hmm. Canada took out all of Mexico. Uh, the German Empire. The, so Austria is in the war as well. The German Empire is actually doing decently through the Third International. Um, Russia is not doing great currently. Yeah, Russia is actually kind of losing, but they do have Romania and Serbia too. So that's very interesting to see. Quite interesting, actually. Ooh, we lost two destroyers. I'm going to sunk some more ships. Go and kill them all. Just straight up kill them all. Because I want to deal with the Germans later. If we can't, well, then we'll deal with them later. No matter what. Feng Shan requests small arms. The Feng Shan government has possessed an advantage against its Chinese rivals thanks to our frequent material aid in a particular case. We are being asked for infantry equipment. Oh, we can currently afford a number of cheap, obsolete, obsolete weapons, albeit no real cost or swap, but we could always say nothing at all. Well, we have literally nothing right now. Air Force the attack. They literally have nowhere else to go. If you die, it's because of your own darn fault. Crush them or get crushed. Those are your options. Oh, I get maybe a little on. I usually don't do that one, but that's okay. Force it. Do not disappoint. And there you go too. Look at that. Fantastic. Great development strategy. Come on, get rid of this. Oh! Sardinia? Uh, I don't think we need Sardinia, but okay. It's fine, whatever. Go when you can. In the meantime, uh, we're going to have to reach on these guys. As long as anyone invades us here, we'll be fine. Probably a bad idea. Whatever. And Pacific States, because we need to invade. I'm not sure if we... Can we get to Alaska? That's my real question. From Honolulu, which is absolutely insane to invade from, because that's a lot of water tiles. All the way up to there. Is that possible? One, two, three... Four, five. Because we can invade up here. I mean, that, that would steal the deal for us. There's another one up there, too. I can't imagine they put a lot of divisions up there. I could be wrong. Oh, we can't even, we can't even reach. Go and reach SFI. Because they're actually holding their own pretty well against these guys. Nash Italian National Republic. CSA's got a million. These guys have a crap ton of experience. And we're already war with Canada, so it doesn't really matter that much. I mean, don't want you to do this. I have a far flung empire at this point. Curtailing the Zaibatsus, eh? Oh, just in case. The Zaibatsus, the largest industrial conglomerates in Japan, have come under the fire from the members of our coalition, particularly those from the Koda. Kohoda faction. Arguing that the Zaibots are actively participating in Japan's decline, corrupt, nepotistic, and they represent the worst excesses of capitalism, reaping all the profit while rural Japanese families, the very soul of our nation, are left completely behind. And while it's true that the Zaibots have seen spectacular growth in recent decades, our investments in Manchuria are only furthering their influence on Japan's economy. To remedy this, the military coalition and the military strongly suggest that we pursue nationalization over their assets and production, with the eventual aim of removing their influence altogether. Others have also hinted at the idea of in high inheritance tax, which would it's really helping breaking the conglomerates away from their family-dominated nature. Some boys have expressed concerns with these ideas, however, chief among them in the Showa Dojinka, 
which argued that the Zaibatsu are patriotic companies, and that hindering their business would have disastrous consequences in the long term. Uh, in, in response, Kodoha members have been quick to point out leading Dojinka figure uh, Kosu Fusanosuke Kuhara's ties in Nissan founded by his brother in law using his assets. While many of the government are ambivalent on the Zaibatsu, it has ultimately been decided that we should curtail their influence to what degree, however, remains in question. Corruption must cease, starting nationalization their, nationalizing their assets. You're right, let's moderate our plan somewhat. Let's moderate him. Enable, enable the national spirit. Ooh. Upgrade your second command. Replace an Imperial Prince with Scion of Fuji Fujiwara. Previous national spirits will be merged into one. A great struggle. The world of the past, and indeed today, is one of competition. A great total war is upon us. And all the nations shall seek to crown themselves victor. All the nations that have a strong fighting spirit. The will to prosper in the most difficult of times have the right to exist as a fit to survive nation ourselves. We'll engage in war to the end. A fanatical Darwinian struggle to see Japan at the very top of the mountain. Absolutely. Banking and agricultural control. Private control over the banks, uh, agricultural sector, and more all Western plagues of threatening Japan's economic and political sovereignty. To dismantle the pervasive influence of liberalism, we must introduce a government rights monopoly and rigid control measures over banks and insurance companies, and their interests must be entirely subservient to the nations, not the other way around. Destroy degenerative individualism. Individualism. A Western import undoubtedly brings selfishness and unwillingness to serve the nation. Manifestations of it and its sister slogans, democracy, freedom, and equality, have corrupted this nation to its very core. If it's time we stamp out these concepts and work to eliminate them entirely. Retention and mobility. While in comparison to our in Asia, our forces do not come up lacking when it comes to sheer power, power, and technological superiority. It is not those factors alone that win its wars. Having a mo mobile army is just as important, and in the vast Chinese plains is what it will witness decisive battles. Four. Expand the Camp Ai Tai. As the Empire expands, so too do the dissidents who unlawfully go against their moral path. The Camp Ai Tai has served as in suppressing dissent at home as well as providing espionage and counterintelligence for some time now, and it's only right we continue recruitment for it. And. Uh, ah. Envelopment tactics. If there's a lesson to be taken from the Great War, it's that frontal assaults alone are rarely decisive. Far better to break through the enemy's flanks in the detect rear, causing great disorganization at less cost to our own forces. And now, my friends, we're in America. We actually invaded through Portland, of all places. And we're trying to push through the Pacific states as we're trying to make sure we got a secure foot, uh, foothold on the west coast here. Um, yeah. Obviously, we're trying to a generic attack right now. Is that really smart? Eh, I don't know. I want to capitulate the Pacific states, like I said, and get the west coast, as much of the west coast as possible. Because they've got good industry. Southern California has a crap ton of oil. And this all happened because, uh, well, the Canadians would not give me Hawaii. So, it's really their fault, you know? Yeah, I'm out here. Even though we're not winning everywhere, really, in Northern California, we're doing, we're doing all right. We've got a lot of uh, guns. No, unfortunately not. But it is 1940. We're researching that. Let's get some better planes, because my God, we're gonna need better planes, are we not? Uh, let's go with that one now. And what do we got here? Marines, pretty normal. Spread out as fast as we possibly can. These guys are all cut off. As soon as these, this little corridor is done, we're gonna stop attacking. Maybe, depending on how this part's doing. Because right now we're not at war with the CSA, and thank God we're not. I have no plans to get the CSA currently. Close it up. We got the radar, which is nice, and another air base, which is good. We're trying to break into Canada, but we're not being super successful. It is what it is. But we have Koi Chiro Katsura. Yeah, the faster we capitulate uh, the Pacific states, the better, and then we can focus on Canada from there. Because really, I have no beef with the Americans, but at this point, it seems like we're probably going to have a lot of beef with the Americans and Canadians. Which really sucks. But it is what it is, as you know. Mm hmm. And we're doing experimental divisions, which I think we read earlier, which is fantastic. Uh, F agency or tension mobility wouldn't be bad, but we don't have a lot of cavalry that we're not using right now. S generation chanceless air accidents, which is pretty good. This seems pretty useful right now. Spiritual mobilization would be nice. Mm. Refit old ships is not bad. Get two more dockyards. That'll be good too. Marines, more soft tech. Uh, get invader. All carrier aircraft. That's pretty good. Anything that would help us out right now in America? Probably not. Five races under the sun. Support warlord allies. Also, Tokyo Conference, which I want to wait. We're going to do land reform next. Oh, which I read before, but land use is highly inefficient in Japan. Nearly all the factors agreed that. Our factions agree that something must be done, though what exactly prompts much dis disagreement. Nevertheless, if we are to realize our full economic might, we must solve this issue. Very true, because then we can get another research slot next. Hello. 
Um, sure, we can support that, yeah. So the goal is, take out the Pacific States, take out Canada, take out the CSA, because they're still struggling against the rest of the United States, which is good for us, because I want to make sure that we uh, do all right. What do we got here? Breakthrough? That'll be good. Losses are 100,000. Sucks. We've got up 145,000 Canadians, which is great. Which, I mean, it's their fault for this war while we're fighting in America now. Hmm, we've got up 43,000 uh, Frenchies, too. And these guys, we've delivered almost 94,000 casualties to the Pacific States. Why are they all the way over here? Riga's gone, that's fine. Better artillery will help us out immediately. Excuse me. And what do we have next? Um, of course, the following big guns. You know what, fine. More soft attack. I love soft attack. I'm a soft attack sucker. Produce your own faction that we don't really give a crap about. These guys are surrounded, so, but fighting over rivers and into mountains is a terrible idea, but... We'll get there. This is why I wanted to make sure that we had to... Do we have... Uh, yeah, field hospitals. Very good at field hospitals. Very, very important to have field hospitals. You know field hospitals, you might as well like, just kill yourself off. And we're actually doing okay. So that quarter is finally done. Fantastic. Specific states, we delivered 200,000 casualties. Nice. Actually, our war score is 33%. So as long as we get the coast, that's all I really care about. The more territory we take, the better. At this point, you know what? This is what we're going to do. I don't want to fight too much up here yet. Um, who do we have most of? You guys are mostly up here. You guys are going to do this. You're just going to hold. You guys are going to continue fighting down here. And we'll get through Mexico too. I forgot about Mexico. So move fast, move fast. Infantry. Go and take that. That's fine. Here, be offensive. That's fine. Good. Land reform. Followed up with National R&D Institutes. By funding National Research and Development Institutes, we can make it easier for independent research teams to work together, improving our research output, and allowing us better direct national research priorities. Also, we're fighting this way because, like I said, we need oil, and uh, if you look at our oil right now, not good. Support the USA. Expand tungsten and some mines here. Ooh. Land reform has been an ongoing issue in Japanese politics for nearly 70 years. We're not the first to attempt to resolve the issue, and if we're not careful, we will not be the last. The more effort and time we put in, the more likely it's for our efforts to bear fruit, though we are free to declare an end to our program at any time. The land reform acts designed to limit landlord power and provide arable land to poor farmers. Our initial plans would force redistribution of all land owned by absentee landlords within the next four years. Moderately advance it, even though we have no war support. Land Readjustment Act. This will establish a legal basis for tenant rights. The act will prohibit landlords from canceling or refusing to renew a contract unilaterally without due, co due cause. Rent Control Act. Allow local authorities to implement rent controls on unauthorized prefecture governors or intervening cases where the rent has been proven to be unreasonably high. Agricultural Land Control Act. This stipulates that the conversion or trade of farmland for non agricultural purposes must be approved by local authorities. It allows us to cycle crops with plant in order to secure high production of staple foods. Japanese Armed Forces, yeah. Actually. Just in case. Well, initiate land reform. We lose war support, but we don't have a lot of war support to begin with anyway, so who cares, right? Ooh, since we're here, sword efficiency, that's good. Infantry attack and fence would be decent. Artillery, 20%, holy crap. Well, we're already fighting, so... Do we have... him in the field? No, we don't. So I don't necessarily want to hire him then. A skill level 4, because what are you doing? Oh, you're fighting up there. Yeah, you're going to take that. Nishi. Yeah, so these guys are the same. Well, we're actually using this guy, so I'm actually going to hire him immediately. So let, let him... I might lose a bit of territory here and there, but you know, whatever. Stop our losses over there. And then start pushing south as hard as we possibly can. Go in. Intelligence wise, do we have any cryptology done? No. We've not worked on this at all. Because we're still probably building up uh, ports and whatnot. Oregon, Washington, which is okay. Uh, we'll get enough fuel in the meantime, do that, and then throw on this. That's fine. Good. Because last time we took out all, or earlier, not last time, a lot of the territory down here, which is great. And we're just taking out Southern California now. Fantastic. We need guns, we need artillery. Oh my god. Support equipment. 
Crux. Are we still at, at least 33%? 37%, that's fantastic. You guys just kinda hang out. Don't lose your territory, do the best you can. And once this is done and good, we're going to Mexico. Get, we're gonna have Japanese Mexico. Hello, what is this? Ooh, that's not ideal. You get 0.68 every day, that's not ideal. Cruising towards LA. 38%, nice. And we got him! Oh, no, 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 no. Well, we can't take Canada yet. We'll definitely take Mexico if we can. But I definitely wanted the oil down here, definitely. Submit demands. No, we're taking what we want. And we can head to our ships. Can we get Arizona too? You know, if we can, we'll try. 500. 1,000. Alright, that's, that's what we can take. Which honestly kind of sucks for us. Uh, can we get military access? Well, I'm going to have to deal with that off screen because I'm going to force them to say yes because we need to be able to move through them. And this is not acceptable to us, so yeah, after we did all that up there. Um, yeah, that's not ideal. So, after that, R&D studies. Standardize the railway gauges, 480 days. Which would be good to do for more resource efficiency gain, but lose railway construction speed and rapid arms expansion. Uh, support the Zabatsus. Oh. Oh. What is this? Bureaucratic econ econ economy. Well, economy is growing, we must, and we avoided much of the fall of the Black Monday. Arms production still isn't what it has potential to be. By building our factories designed specifically for such purposes, we'll be able to greatly expand our arms production. Uh, standardized railway gauges. Our narrow railway gauges, our narrow gauge railways, have their advantages during construction, but now they hold back our burgeoning industry. The future waits for no one, least of all Japan, and a bureaucratic economy. The government. I decided to reform the economy to be regulated by a bureaucratic structure it's designed to live with the Zaibatsu's power and increase benefits for the state. Hold all influence in the legation cities. The legation cities were meant as a forum for all powers and concessions, in China to jointly guarantee. A free trade zone in which several eastern cities, however. Uh, the curious state of affairs in the council, where our nation's only power with voting rights, has effectively made the cities an extension of our policy, and they will do our bidding, so we get them as an international mandate. Fantastic. Also, the Reichs Pact has finally capitulated, and, uh, well, it looks like most of Germany is actually under... It's pretty united overall, in all honesty. Paulus, um... So, the Moscow Accord is won, as well as the Third International. Third International, well, it's not looking terrible. The borders actually are relatively okay, except for this little spot here. Russia, and which Russia might get back to. Oh, that's actually really disgusting. Okay. Uh, the Danubian Federation, they released the Danubian Federation together, which is interesting. We have the Free Socialist Republic of Germany. And then we have the Rhenish Union. Uh. The Dutch joined the war and joined the Entente after everyone else like died, so that's why we're at war with them now. This is disgusting over here. Poland, this is extremely disgusting. Holy crap. Why would you allow this, Poland? Uh, it's because it got taken out as well. That is disgusting. Romania is... That is a fat Romania. Uh, other than that, we don't really care. We're in Mexico right now. Trying to beat the crap out of them. As we're trying to do rapid arms expansion. But, uh, let's see. What else we got done here? Military reforms... Expand tungsten mines in Korea, begin a third expansion effort for tungsten mines in Yangxiao, and it'll take some time and effort to expand the mines there. Fantastic. But look at that, we got full fuel. That is rare for Japan, so unfortunately, so we're fighting the Dutch East Indies here. Um, but, ooh. Paris against Moscow, evidently not. Well, I guess the second Valkyrie has become the third Valkyrie in half. They're taking out this area, which is not good, so I'm sending these guys down here, and we need more divisions down here. It's only a tank division and an infantry division. Which obviously not very much, but it is what it is. And yeah, so once we take out Mexico, I'm going to take out the CSA. I can't allow them to get too strong too very quickly. They have to die. Which means the United States of America has to die too, so. Unfortunately, this is taking a drastic turn from where I initially wanted to just like invade China like normal, beat up everybody else up, you know, the good stuff. Our stuff is doing well though, and we did take out, um, take on like the USS Arkansas, USS uh, Utah, South Carolina, Saratoga. So we got a lot of the American, old uh, Pacific fleet. The drought ends, ooh. After many, after many months of suffering, the drought has finally ended and the country begins to recover, finally. Oh wow, we lost 30% stability because of that. Holy crap. 
Hey, we're looking good now. But I'm gonna go and send in the army because uh, the way to deal with this order in our nation is to send in the army and suppress completely. Not everyone will be happy about it, that's true, but sometimes martial law is the only alternative. Because I we need that stability. We definitely need that stability. My god. I like to get this genius as well, too. Rapid arms expansion is very good. And bureaucratic economy, like we read earlier, before we faded in, faded out. And take all that stuff. Because you guys are gonna have to invade somehow, some way. And our subs are doing a great job. So and we get 0.85 political power every single day. We're doing okay in Mexico. Um, overall, it's, um, I'm relatively pleased with what we're doing. We need more guns, though, unfortunately. Uh, uh, yes. We'll take whatever we can get right now. So once Mexico's done, we'll go to war with the CSA. Once we get enough guns, and stuff like that. What is this? Ooh. Reorganize resource extraction. Prioritize military oil. Get free uh, infrastructure and oil. Regulating the automotive industry. That seems pretty good. If you decided on a bureaucratic economy instead, we'll gain this. Ooh. <coughs> Uh, throughout the 20s and 30s, Japanese domestic uh, automotive production was too small to compete globally. To remedy this and enable domestic, domestic firms to compete with much bigger Western counterparts, we can force a merger of our many small automotive firms into a few big businesses. It's not bad. Got all this going on. Anti air would be nice. Ooh, more ship stuff. But sub stuff seems like a, kind of a pri high priority for us right now. Alright, so you did a good job there. You need to start enabling invading from here um, to wherever they have a port. Having only one infantry division doing this is probably not ideal, but it is what we've got currently. Yeah, we're not doing so well, are we? Yeah, in some areas we are. It's just we're really out of guns and whatnot. You are going to be on low priority. You, good, right here. Nice, you get all those convoys. 101, not bad. More war support would be decent. Yeah, Feng Shun in crisis. In spite of all the aid we provide over the years to the Feng Shun government, and now face the risk of defeat as the war drags on intermittently. Not only do we have a general commitment to Feng Shun's defense politically and economically, but it also remains the only means by which we can indirectly control China's whole. Direct occupation would almost certainly be costly, but intervention could also come with its own risks. The time certainly come to decide. Zhang is on his own. Honestly, we're... We're, we're too busy. We're just too busy in, like, Mexico. Of all places. And with this, we're done with our land auction. Because it's more salt attack on all fronts. Follow Shenyang. Good job, guys. Just kick him out as, uh, if we possibly can. Get Leon. Good. Uh, there you go. That's fine. The faster we can get this done, the, the better. Who is this? Book advisor? The vo Council votes on limited conscription force, the volunteer force. The High Commission has convened the Legation Council for an important administrative matter. Whether or not to allow the International Volunteer Force to begin limited conscription to other citizens at the International Quarter to allow the force to better defend the cities. With the level of lasting peace in the Far East growing ever further away, many in Shanghai find it necessary to expand local protections available to the cities. If limited conscription is implemented, it's likely that the Council will not feel obliged to expand recruitment to ethnic Chinese, a move that the Volunteer Force leadership is said to greatly oppose, however. The Council might also feel more able to expand, expand the force's manpower, allowing us to trust it on defense more. Prove it. Uh, what do we here? That's that's decent. Captain of Industry is pretty decent. Stability would be nice. Trains, railway magnet. It's not bad either. Max factories in a state. Wow. Governor of the Bank of Japan. That's fantastic. Um, experience gain, recovery gain. Prince of Terror. We honestly might need a Prince of Terror here. Araka Sadao. Yeah. Lord of the Privy Council. Ooh, I like this one. I like both these. Corporate suits. Not bad. Uh, I like this guy too. This is not bad. I like this guy. Ultra Nationalists. I feel like we gotta go with Ultra Nationalists. Some, either one of these two. As much as I like, like, like this one for more manpower and whatnot. Non core manpower. Damage garrisons goes way down. But this is more political power. And war stability. Justify war goals times. This is slightly more unique than this guy. Political power. Stability will go up. Justify war goals times. Mm, uh, you know, I'm gonna go with the Prince of Terror. We need, we need a Prince of Terror. Because we, we're going to have a lot of a lot of places. Right, so with that in mind, we're going to take a slight break. So once we're done with these two tiles, we're going to take a slight break there. I'm going to continue pushing in. She insisted. Very nice. Ooh. Well, invest in heavy industry. 
uh, for Japan to remain a competitive economic power, it's necessary that we invest further into large scale industrial projects. Said industrial projects will in turn allow us to adequately supply the state when it comes to defense. Ah, look at that. Uh, building new aircraft facilities. The aircraft industry is a vital part of our national defense. As wars are likely to be decided in the air, our industry must be able to supply pilots with many quality home built aircrafts. Building new aircraft factories will ensure our growing demands are met in the coming years. And that'd be fantastic. Uh, prior to his military oil, the country to war, oil is more vital than ever. While it is useful for many civilian purposes, it is vital for armed forces. As such, we must prioritize oil for military uses first and foremost. Reorganize resource extraction. With tensions rising all over the world, it's vital for our resource extraction to happen effectively and quickly. To achieve this, firms involved in resource extraction will be implemented uh, to greater uh, bureaucratic supervision and force to undergo a structural reorganization under the government's guidance. And the Shinkansen proposal. It's time to meet, enact the Shinkansen proposal, create a connected set of high-speed railways, then, then combine them with new steam and electric locomotives. These lines will be able to carry passengers and freight at speeds never before seen. That'd be fantastic. Ooh, look at all that. Yeah, that one's very important too. And this is going to be very important too, to help make sure that we can suppress any and all resistance here and there. Go when you can. Alright, what do we got here? That'd be really nice. And we're sinking combos left and right, which is great. Uh, there we go. America's coming back! That's not bad for them. Alright, so in the meantime... It, it looks like they kind of gave up here a little bit. Which is fine with us. Mm, speed. It's nice. Marines are nice. Let's go this next, though. Bureaucratic economy. Yes, please. Naval dockyards, military, one of those city stuff next. Because we still gotta build a lot of stuff up here. Get up them out. Once these guys are gone, we're gonna go through here. And eh, that's gonna be a giant fight. But hey, we've got full fuel. That is unheard of as Japan. Any planes? Ooh. Yes, please. Survivability studies, good. Machine guns, good. And yeah, we did it. Nice. So, we're going to keep working down here, and then we'll go to war with the good old CSA, and hopefully we can butter them up, and maybe take out America, and then take out Canada, and maybe call it peace with Entente, perhaps. Maybe those German government in exile, it's fine, whatever. Um, so, those are the plans. 54% uh, national populace. Stability's okay, but we're working on it. And then, uh, ooh, time of research would be nice. And, uh, what else are we going to do? Ooh, track East Indies. Oh, Canada of War. Oh, well. For centuries, the islands of the East Indies have taught for the Dutch colonial rulers, with vast resources lining European pockets. This practice must end. We shall liberate these assets for the co prosperity sphere, where they rightfully belong, of course. And refit old ships. Even if Japan's fleet is among the largest in the world in size, many of our ships are not up to date, and they would struggle to perform in a future conflict. As we find ourselves lacking the resources to build up new fleets from scratch, we should instead aim to uh, build upon our older ships and give them proper uh, equipment. So they may be almost as good as new. Uh, banking agricultural control. Private control over banks, the agricultural sector, and moral are all the Western plagues threatening Japan's economic political sovereignty. They have cemented the pervasive influence of liberalism, must introduce the government rice monopoly, and rigid control measures over banks and insurance companies, as their interests must be entirely subservient to the, to the nations and not the other way around, and to destroy degenerative individualism. Individualism, a Western import, undoubtedly brings selfishness and unwillingness to serve the nation. Manifestations of it and its sister slogans, democracy, freedom, equality, have corrupted the nation to its very core. If it is time we stamp out these concepts and work to eliminate them entirely. So, we're going to end it there and I'm going to do some plain stuff off screen. So, if you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you are new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we're probably going to be at war already with a CSA. And finish off Canada, and maybe finish off the United States, and maybe finish off uh, uh, parts of uh, Asia that were here. But, thank you for watching, and have a great rest of your day.